Today I'm going to show you how to create an awesome looking media center experience. You know, you don't have to have much experience in uh, media centers or software or anything. Basically just follow what I do and should be a snap. So basically the software that we're going to be using is Xbox Media Center. Um, it's a free open source software that was originally made for the Xbox but now it's ported to Mac, Linux and Windows computers. Um, Xbox Media Center is an amazing piece of software so this is why I've chosen to use it. It doesn't support TV capture cards. You can't watch live TV um, which is a big letdown but I've used all the other media centers before and such as Media Portal and Windows um, Media Center and I just they're just not as neat and as tidy and as slick as um, XBMC. So first off we're going to want to download XBMC and to do that we're not going to download the original XBMC file we're actually going to download a unofficial build of XBMC um, it's called an SVN build so we want the latest SVN build that we can get and to do that we're going to go to this website here so you can see the web, web address there um, what we're going to want to do is go up here and click on build now we need to click on well depending on what your OS is but for my situation it's Windows installer so we'll click on here get you to download that to your desktop and unzip it and then install Xbox Media Center um, I've previously already done this so I don't need to do this part okay so once you've installed Xbox Media Center you're going to want to now next get the skin file and the skin we're going to use is uh, a, a skin called Aeon um, it's basically a, it's Aeon Showmix it's a modified version of this here this is Aeon this is made by a guy called Duncan Harris uh, this is the most amazing skin on XBMC today so these are just a few shots of what it looks like um, yeah it, it's just an amazing amazing skin but the version we're going to get is slightly modified and that's modified by a guy called Andy Black and he's created this Showmix version of this skin here um, it's it just the modified version is just fantastic because you can play trailers right off watching like right off your movies and just the modifications that he's done has just improved Aeon just so much so um, to get the skin you need to go to this website here um, it's github.com slash Andy Black slash Aeon and you're just going to want to click on download here um, as of today the current build of the skin is 2.1 um, but it could be I don't know it could be any any version by the time you come to download it uh, so you're going to want to have to click on the zip file once that pops up it's going to come up with the download uh, I'll get you to download that to your desktop and unzip it and I've already also done that as well so once you've unzipped that the only thing we need to get now to get everything up and running is when you just downloaded the skin file uh, for legal reasons they can't contain the font so we need to get the font and to do that I google searched uh, Aeon Showmix wiki in Google and I came up with this website here now this is the wiki page for the Showmix skin just shows you a little bit there and we're going to want to read down till we find this part here and this is the fonts so this is the font download the current font download so I've also downloaded this so just save that and unzip it to your d desktop um, now once we've got the skin file 
and the font unzip to your desktop we want to go close the window down now go to your desktop now we all we need to do now is these are my that's my skin folder and that's my fonts folder uh, all you want to do is just drag that into the skin and now I usually name rename my skin folder so I'm going to name it show mix just so it's easier to work with now what you want to do now is you're going to want to bring up um, click on my computer and uh, then click on your C drive and program files and you want to find XBMC it might say XBMC SVN I'm not too sure if I've renamed this um, so click into there then click on click on skin now we're going to want to drag our skin folder into the XBMC skin folder <laughs> okay once this is done we're basically ready to start up XBMC okay next we're going to want to create a folder named XBMC and you're going to want to save this somewhere where it's not going to get deleted because it's going to contain all your backdrops for all the different menus that are in Xbox Media Center so find somewhere to create your folder I've created mine on a partition of my hard drive um, right there and name one of the folders create a folder and name it backdrops now inside your backdrops folder you're going to want to create a folder named movies TV shows music pictures plugins um, games programs settings and shut down um, later on you can go through and create more folders for whatever menus you have on your um, inside your XBMC uh, but at the moment just create the basics just the movies music TV shows and shut down programs um, you can see inside mine under movies I've gone online I've gone into the web browser and I've downloaded a whole lot of wallpapers um, these are all high quality wallpapers the better quality they are the better they look um, and you're going to want to get quite a few you can see I've got quite a few for each of my folders here um, music not too many but basically yeah go through these are just wallpapers but go through get a whole lot of pictures all in different folders um, ready to put them onto XBMC and yeah so once you've done that go back to your desktop and we're going to want to open up Xbox Media Center. So this is the default um, skin for XBMC. Um, it's not the one we want. So what we want to do is we're going to go down here and click on settings, and then move over to appearance, then move over to skin and search keep clicking to you find the file that you renamed as your skin folder okay so this is show mix so press escape and we'll head back to the main menu see it's very basic uh, there's no backdrops yet so anyway we've got our skin installed so part two of my youtube tutorial uh, we're going to have a look at basic settings of xbmc um, customizing the background and getting trailers and movies up and running so thanks for watching and I'll catch you in part two